Okay, so check this out. You've been asking for this. It's been a year. We've been in this shop, my home shop, for a year upgrading. And in this video, I'm gonna show you four of the upgrades that we have made that have made a night and day difference. So stay tuned and I'm gonna call all four out. So number one on the list, and I've called it out a hundred times in the videos, this is the Mr. Cool unit. It's a mini split. I bought it on Amazon. Um, it's made a night and day difference in the shop. In other words, it's 29 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Okay, and nice and warm in here today. I turned it on about an hour ago. I like to keep it a constant mid 50s and up okay but I turned it up to 71 degrees and we are kicking in around 68 right now this has been an incredible upgrade for the simple fact is in the winter we can work all week long I'm out here every night I'm out here all on the weekend and it's super comfortable we're a lot more productive okay it's a simple install I always tell people, go for the bigger unit. This is uh, the 18,000 BTU. It's worth every penny. And I'm gonna take you outside and show you how the install went. So when I looked at the instructions when I got the Mr. Cool unit, it says you really don't have to have any talent to install this. But I hired a private contractor, cost me about a 12 back of beer. Jason Bent came in on a Saturday morning. I think we had it installed together in two hours. It comes loaded with Freon, okay? It's pre-charged. There was a secondary piece I bought. Okay, here's your line here. Here's your drain line. The secondary piece was a rail cap, okay? It now comes on the unit I'm gonna show you on our link in this video. It comes with this rail cap worth every penny. You get the flange at the top keeps everything nice and tight. The one thing I did prior, I knew exactly where this was gonna go. I did two things. I poured myself a pad, because I like that nice stable part for the, the Mr. Cool. I don't like those plastic things they set on. So I did a concrete pad, no biggie. I think it cost me, I had a couple, I think it cost me like 20 bucks. But I also had a T20 unit installed out here by my electrician. So this is a, the 220 volt model. And you can hear this, hopefully, how quiet it is. So there you go, upgrade number one. Everybody knows that heat rises. So I have thermometers all over the place. And you'll see this is 66 here, down by the uh, beer fridge. Up here it's 69, where my lift master control is. Okay, but I'd be willing to bet, up top, it's in the 70s, because heat rises, right? So one of the things I'll suggest, this is kind of an addendum to the upgrade, is I circulate the air with just a typical box fan, and that's pointing down, and that circulates around the whole shop. So yes, I have a few thermometers around. I just want to make sure everybody's comfortable when we're working in here. Okay, when I first saw the Mr. Cool unit, one of the first things that got me so stoked about this was the app on my phone. You can see my room temperature. Up top it's about 69, I have it set at 71. You have all kinds of different positions of the uh, flow. I have it on heat and I put it on turbo just to get this place cranking. So it started out this morning around 52, 53. Within an hour I'm up to 69. I suggest this to everybody. If you love your shop, get yourself a mini split and the one I chose because it was effortless was the Mr. Cool. Okay, so upgrade number two came about two years ago when I was in Jason Bent's shop at Bent's Woodworking and I said, what's different in here? And he had, if we pan over here, Chris, he had closed off one of his single bay doors, but the key to it was right here on his double door and I put it on my single bay door. You're gonna notice this is a side mount lift master lift. Okay, so if you go back to some of the original videos we did, we always had these struts down about here with right in here, and hopefully Chris can get some footage of this for the video, we had dual um, garage door openers. 
Okay, so they were in the way of filming, but that's not why I did it. I did it because when I'm handling large boards, I was always cranking up against these struts, okay? Or the garage door opener. And it was getting frustrating over the years. So what we did is I had garage doors of Indianapolis come in and install this. This is the 8500W. Uh, it came with a couple remotes. It came with a, a door uh, thing. But what I really liked about it, it comes with MyQ. It's a garage door app. So I could check to see if the garage door is shut. So have you ever been on your way to work and you go, oh, did I, shoot the, did I close the garage door? Well, guess what? Now I know with that app. And it came with another LED light. I didn't install it. I had, like I said, I had garage doors of Indianapolis. They did a fantastic job installing it. Um, worth every penny. And the nice thing is, is look how high those rails are. That's within 12 inches of that. They clear my American green lights. And also I'm gonna come down here and we'll get a shot right over here. Now that whole space is uninterrupted. My buddy Brian came by and he hauled all the scrap away, including the garage door openers. So I didn't have to mess with any of that. Okay, so upgrade number three, and this was a long time coming, and you can see it in our early videos. As I've called it out, we've did a separate video on this. It's American green lights, the LEDs. Okay, I had no idea what this was gonna do for me. Um, yeah, I talked to Jim Uno on the uh, phone from American Green Lights, and he said, can you send a sketch? of where your machinery is and where everything is laid out. <laughs> this process was effortless because Jim right away sent back where, how to do the layout of the American Green Lights. These are, I ordered 15 of these. I did the wiring myself. <clears throat> it was so easy. I keep saying effortless. But the whole process, <clears throat> the key to American Green Lights, these are 5,000 Kelvin is the clarity that I see reading tapes. Um, the color rendering is exceptional with these LEDs. And you can see I did the tool, uh, dual row and there's 15 of these and this has opened up the space to the point where every, every shop I go into uh, that doesn't have American green lights, you can tell because I am so stoked to have really good lighting in the shop. Okay, so number four, you may have never noticed, or maybe you had, but I like to store my lumber vertically, and you'll see some of it here. This corner was a clutter fest. I didn't know what I had all the way back. Now I know I have this ash slab and a couple other boards in here. So what I did is I made the investment, and it really wasn't a lot of money. I bought the Bora four-tier rack. And I took all that lumber I had back there and I put it up above, okay? The rating is 440 pounds per, uh, but that's per racking. I bought two sets and they're 110 pounds per uh, level. Now, I, it was so easy. I installed it in probably about two hours and that's, and that's filling it. And man, I had so much lumber back in that area. Now I can visually see it when I'm building or if I need to go order more. So that was the upgrade and that's upgrade number four. So that's what we've done in the shop. And I hope this whole video really gets you going to organizing that shop of yours.